Same line, little period extras. You've got the little eyelets, you've got the little curved, you know, bend it out so you could sort of see down the side of the car, sort of wing mirror. Okay, you can see that the uh, indicator lenses and everything are all new. Morris badge in great condition. This here need a little bit of chrome work, but still very, very nice. Again, the lovely lines on these cars. This is just really, really good. This, if you notice, this doesn't have the overriders over here, it has a straightforward. Uh, Bumper override is sort of starting to fall away. Moving on around this side of the car, it's a stunning blue color, this car. It's really, really very nice car. Okay, moving along here, which I love as well, bro. the period roof rack with the wooden slats, as you can see here. Wooden slats on top, period roof rack. Very nice. And you'll notice a little feature here where it's got the rain channel. And on the rain channel, there's a little cutout. Just a little cutout over there, which is to let the water run out when you're parked or driving, so it doesn't sit in there. And it doesn't rust. And as you'll notice, because being a panel van, that there's no windows in here. Um, very nice, a little bit of a, a crack over here, which I'm sure Brian needs to give a little bit of attention. But stunning, stunning lines. You'll notice the differences between the four door. Obviously, this this line here doesn't carry on through. It has a separate line. As far as I know, from Morris's, you sort of bought a Morris, and you could order a traveler, and you could detach the back, and, and this whole thing would detach as well. Um, as you can see, there's a rubber seal that goes here. You could put on a bucky or a flatbed or something else, depending on the utility that you need to apply for the vehicle. But let's move on here, which I really like, is coming around the back end. Really like it. Okay, it's got this one has got two reverse lights on it, which is really nice. Okay, the little uh, indicators in that immaculate condition. Well, this I love. Let's pop it open. Little straps. Okay, pop it open, and there you got a nice little utility van. Okay, where you can pack all your stuff in and you can do it. And let me tell you, if you had to go somewhere, I would rather take this as a family vehicle, throw a mattress in the back, because I'm going to jump in the back and show you how spacious it is. I'm going to have a little lie down. Okay, so you can see, in we go. And if I've got a mattress in the back on a long trip, I'd be as happy as you can be. You know, have a little lie down. You know, the wife can take you out for a braai and you can have a braai and a beer or a barbecue and a brandy or something like that. And get driven home in style but as you can see from the inside there's no paneling or anything on here so it's, it's probably quite a noisy vehicle inside but we're going to take it for a run just now and see how it goes but how nice is it and here you've got these little things you just pop it out and you hook it on the door over there so that the door doesn't uh, um, swing back on you and you've got them on both sides so nice little features and also you've got over here if i get out okay excuse the back end of me it's the best view um we've got a little board you've probably got your spare wheel underneath there although i see the spare wheel is there so maybe i'm wrong but very nice and a lovely little view uh, of the whole car from here this is a really exceptionally nice restoration on this vehicle and uh, i'm told it drives very nicely but we're going to go and test it out now okay so welcome to the interior of the little panel van it has been a beautiful restoration, and I would say tasteful restoration on this vehicle. Okay, lovely new roof liner. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. This one, although the other one didn't have, this one has got a uh, sun visor on the passenger side, which the other gray one didn't. Very nice sun visors, and these are nice and big. If you look at the saloon one, that it was these tiny little 
things, okay? Same sort of dash layout as well. Your little cubby hole space over here. This one doesn't have a parcel tray at the bottom. Okay, a little bit of a modern fitment here. Obviously, the heat gauge is not maybe working there. It's just to check the heat. Again, same format, four-speed box with the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth over here. Handbrake. So, and this one starts on key, not pull button. So, yeah, and nice. And these, I presume, are for the reverse lights, I think, because I don't know what they are. But they're nice little period toggle switches. A very nice little car inside you. Again, love the steering wheel. Love really nicely upholstered seats. Very comfortable. Okay, this one comes with safety belts. Very, very nice. Let's have a let's have a little drive in her. So off we go. So let's fire her up. Love these Moris. They're just a little flick of the switch and it just starts. And she might be a little cold. I've got a okay, handbrake off. See if the cameraman doesn't fall over because he's sitting in the back holding on for dear life. Let's see. Off we go. Oh, the clutch is quite a nice little release. Off we go. Nice and easy to second gear. Yeah. Oh, that oh. was me. <laughs> That was me. Sorry, cameraman. Sorry, viewers, if the camera's all over the place. Guys, giant. please subscribe so I can afford life insurance. <laughs> Putting my foot on the brake. This one's brakes are a little better. Okay. You can hear it's a little noisier in here because it's a panel van. Okay. Ah, a little hooter. There's the brakes. It's uh, popping into. And we're going the sort of same routes. I push the brakes quite hard to get it in. Okay, there's first. I got first this time, first time. I've been used to the Morrises. I mean, I'll speak to you soon. Okay, off we go into second, nice and easy, gentle change. There we go, second gear. Ah, hey, we're away into third. That's it, boys. I'm in speed trap territory now. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm doing 20 mile an hour. Into fourth. There we go. Oh, I put on the brake. We're going to stop here and do a U turn. Nice. This is nice, guys. This is really, I love this. Thing. You know, I've never been, um, would I say, uh, focused on collecting Morris or anything like that. But now then, I've always ragged Brian about his Morrises. Okay, then we struggle for first. I always uh, struggle, uh, I always give Brian a hard time about his Morrises. But I've got to take it back. Sorry, Brian, I apologize. Remember, I'm apologizing to the gang leader, guys. So it's really, they're nice to drive. They're really nice. I wouldn't drive them far, but they're nice. Here we go, nice little change to second. Clutch feels nice. Um, considering that they're old cars, I mean, let's give it a little squirt. Off we go. There we go. Bang, off we go. We're into third. Nicely. Oh, lovely, man. This is nice. They sit really nice as well. Small windscreens. Okay, put on brakes, get it here to uh, stop. Uh, and I got into first, first time. Oh, oh yeah, I got the clutch. Okay. <laughs> off we go. Oh, hey, hey. That's it. I am off to the races, boys. This is excellent. Even if the beans, how much fuel's in here? This one shows full. We're going on a long trip. Okay, I'm hitting third gear. Bombing up. Now, remember we're going uphill around this area. This is uphills. So this is not shabby. And I can actually see out of these side mirrors, side wing mirrors, which is quite amazing. So I'm going to hit a little right. Oh, this indicator works. I can hear it. There, I can see it flashing on the dash. Okay, pull up and stop here. Oh, wait for Spurs to stop completely. Oh, clown. Okay, I'm off. Okay, here we go. Nice. Listening to all the, and the smells you get in these old cars, the smells of petrol and oil and, you know, the old smell of the old cars. And that really so nice. I love it. Right? Cameraman's dying at the back. Yeah. Oh, you're suffering at the back there. My cameraman's taking a beating. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> Into third gear. Now we go down the hill, giving a little bit of the beans. Off she goes. Drives so nicely. Okay, oh, oh, oh yeah, better apply brakes. Uh, a little bit of pumping on these brakes needed just to bring the brake pedal up a little bit. But at least this one's got more brakes than the other one. Down into third gear here, with the clutch up nice and slow. Um, coming to a traffic intersection here. Stop, street, dead stop. First gear, I got it first time. Okay, no, that's it. Brian's gonna want to buy, sell me Morris's. And second gear without grating. I'm getting better at this. Oh, don't tell Brian. Hang it up and turn right here. Yeah. This one I gotta try and see if we can drift. Handbrake turn. Off we go. Here we go. Hey, <laughs> give it the beans. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> Woo hoo. Hit third. Turbo's gonna kick in now. No. Oh, sorry, but a turbo lag before the turbo kicked. Oh, how's that? I'm going to do a spin it around, do a 360 handbrake turn here. Yeah? A little drifting sideways action. Do a U-turn. 
into second gear. Let's see if we can do this in one turn. Yay! Okay, cameraman's already fallen over, but all good. So there you have it, guys. Um, Got to see if the cameraman wants to have a little drive. A video of him doing a little bit of a drive and let him give you his feedback. Stay tuned! Alright guys, what's up? It's Jordan here. I thought I would give the Morris a bit of a spin. Um, it is my first time ever driving an old car, besides my BMW. But this is now really going back to the olden days and I really enjoy it. I must say I do love the old cars. Ever since I was a youngster, I loved going to old car shows but I was always too young. So I'd end up getting halfway through the car show and I'd be too tired and I'd need to go home and do whatever. But now that I'm older, I've got a real respect for the old cars. It gives off a lovely old smell. And you know what? I'm going to give it a go. Let's see how it goes. I hope the caravan doesn't die at the back. And let's see. So let's give it a whirl. We've got to push the clutch in. Let's go in neutral. Okay, there I should have held it in a bit longer. That's first. Let's make sure there's no cars. And let's go. Off we go, guys. And second gear. I feel like a real old man driving my old Tony along. But here we go. Okay, so let's stop the car dead. I don't know who that guy was, but he waved. Okay, and we're going to be turning around. We're getting a little U-turn here. And off we go. Oh, it takes so long, we're going to be rolling backwards. Okay, let's keep the power going. Let's keep it going, guys. Remember, this is my first time. I know that the first gear was a little bit dodgy, but you know what? It's the first time ever doing it. It's definitely not like a modern car. Well, let's try and find first gear. Okay, I'll just keep my foot on the brake. Definitely not like a modern car. Really awesome. I actually really enjoyed that. I almost killed the cameraman, but you know what? It's worth it. So no, guys, thank you very much. That was really awesome. I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. And if you have, make sure that you subscribe, like, share, and comment. And we can't wait to see you for the next one. Thank <laughs> you.